and good morning from Pittsburgh, New Hampshire. We started out a little bit on the uh, drizzly side. I guess we're supposed to have a couple of showers here and there. But it's not too bad out. It's a lot better than the 33 degrees I woke up to the last two mornings. Uh, let's see, what is it right now? It is 51 degrees. So, a little, a little chilly. I was actually uh, cooled off a little bit this morning because it was 53 when I first woke up. So it's cooled off a little bit, but eh, not too bad. But and see, uh, as usual, I've already made a big mess of my campsite. <laughs> All right, so we had a little change in the plans today. Uh, I decided uh, that uh, to, this is going to be the one campground that I'm staying two nights at. Not one, but two nights. So this is going to be a two-night stay here. I actually already went up to the office, booked for another night, and today I uh, had a few things planned. Obviously, I want to walk around the uh, this area, the uh, Lake Francis area follow the road that I've never followed down before, see where that goes. And uh, later on I'm going to take a ride up to uh, the Canadian border and I'm going to find 4th Connecticut Lake. I've been up to Pittsburgh many times uh, and I've uh, seen the first, second, and third Connecticut Lakes, but I've never seen the fourth one because you have to hike into it. So that's what I'm going to do today. And i got to go down to uh, Solomon's and uh, restock with some additional groceries because I could use a little bit more uh, food there to get through uh, the rest of the trip. And uh, Probably stop at Woo Sally Cones and get myself an ice cream when they open later today. So that's my plan. Got a full uh, full day ahead of me, and no uh, traveling to the next campground. And uh, tomorrow morning, I'm probably going to get up, head over to uh, First Lake General Store slash Treats and Treasures, and uh, have them make my breakfast and coffee. And then I'm going to head uh, south. Might try to see about finding another campground. I might not. I haven't decided yet because it's going to be really cold Friday night into Saturday. So. We'll see. It's going to be cold tonight, too, but <laughs> not as cold as tomorrow's supposed to be. So we'll see what happens. Anyway, time for breakfast. I had a little bit of a change in the menu today. I was going to make uh, French toast this morning, but my uh, neighbors gave me some uh, corned beef hash. So something a little bit different for breakfast today. He, he said he made too much, had a little bit left over, so he gave me this. So A little bit of change in the menu. I'm going to have corned beef hash and eggs for breakfast instead. Something totally different. So... So uh, we'll see how it is. Wishing I had some seasonings like paprika and stuff with me. That would be a nice uh, addition to it. But I got what I have. So yeah, it's different at least. Here's the end result. Uh, corned beef hash with eggs. Probably not the proper way to cook it and serve it. But you know what? I didn't feel like looking up recipes. It's not something I've ever made before. So I just made it quickly and put this together. Give myself a nice little uh, breakfast here. trailhead for the uh, fourth Connecticut Lake. Only 0.7 miles from here so it shouldn't take me too long. Should be an easy hike. A little rough terrain but that's okay. Look at this. Now I'm in the United States. And now I'm in Canada. Huh. That's what the United States looks like from Canada. Looks about the same. And now I'm back in the United States again. Another one of these markers. Look at that, I'm hiking in Canada a little bit here. See these little signs along the way here in Canada. I'm sure I'm being watched. <laughs> uh, I don't know where, but I'm sure they got surveillance up here. The oh, sun's coming out, that's good. Let me actually get too hot during this walk then. A little board walk over here. Uh, 
And this is that uh, path they cut out between the border there. Kind of like a, a neutral zone between the two countries. Okay, so here's what the signs are telling you. It's actually uh, just warning you about those boundary markers that you're not supposed to disturb. Okay. Makes sense. On the boardwalk. Another one of those signs. Another boundary marker somewhere. I wonder where I am. I don't know if I'm in the US or Canada right now. It's an interesting thought. This is just straddling right along the line, actually. I wonder if somebody had to go through all the effort to put all those boundary markers in all along the entire boundary. I wonder if those go all the way across the whole country. I just wonder if somebody actually went through that effort. Another one of the markers right here. And look, the trail clearly crosses it. Now, I am now, without a doubt, hiking in Canada. We are hiking in Canada. I officially say I've been to Canada for the third time in my life now. All three times without a passport. A little bit of a steep and muddy trail. That sure is interesting. Yep, I'm still in Canada. Hiking through Canada though, on the side of the this trail's on the Canadian side at the moment. Okay, not quite sure what all this is. I don't know to even know how it all got up here. Huh, interesting. Seems like getting ready to build a fence. And look, just inside the Canadian border, there's a geocache. Just waiting for me to find it. Logbook was totally completely soaked though. Really wasn't much to see inside. But I signed it. So I'll register that I found it when I get back. Bye for the moment, Canada. We'll be back. So we're just 300 yards from the uh, fourth Connecticut lake. So let's see what we got here. Well, this is a nice trail. <sighs> lots of mud. Lots and lots of mud. Still no lake. Quiet here, there's nobody here at all. Love it. I just hope my truck is okay. A lot of uh, valuable stuff, including my drone and everything, still in the truck, so I hope it's okay. I don't like leaving it there, but I couldn't leave the stuff at the campground either, so... 300 yards is longer than I thought it was going to be. This is probably one of the nicest parts of the walk here. It's so green. Beautiful pine forest here. A lot of the pine trees don't look too healthy, but... Still, I like this area. Except for the mud. I don't really care for the mud. I think I see the lake ahead. Yep, there it is. This is the fourth Connecticut lake. I have found it. <sighs> there it is. Not a very big lake. But there it is. Alright. I'm going to do the whole loop. I'm here. I'm going to do it. I'll take this path right down to the lake right now. And here it is. The headwaters of the Connecticut River. Starts here. Works all the way down through New Hampshire and the Vermont border. Into Massachusetts and into Connecticut and out to the ocean. Looks like you could walk out there, but it looks pretty muddy, so I think I'm going to pass on that. It's a nice lake. 
quiet here. So quiet. Nobody else here. I love it. No worry. You know, some of you might be thinking, I'm off in my, all by myself here, way off in the woods here, if something were to happen to me. But I still have my uh, satellite communicator with me. It's ready to go. I can send out a, an emergency beacon if I need it. It's one of those things I hope I never have to use, though. There I am. There's the 4th Connecticut Lake. It's a show that I made it here. We're almost back to the beginning of the loop. And we start our trek back down the hill. And we're back to the beginning again. So far we've gone 1.47 miles in the site. Now we head back. <sighs> and we'll look. Goodbye, 4th Connecticut Lake. Good to finally meet you. I'm sure we'll see each other again. That was a fun walk. Glad I finally did that. Yeah, it's time to start heading back. Back to the main trail, back to Canada. Back down to the Route 3 in New Hampshire. And start working my way back to the campground. A good hike. Hey, 463 calories burnt already. I love these boardwalks. Woods must get muddy when it rains, though. It's been such a dry uh, season this year. There isn't much mud to contend with, but there's enough. Enough mud to make it yucky. But it's easily avoidable. Oh, we made it. Back on the uh, border here. And I'm officially back in Canada. Do some Canadian hiking here. Back to New Hampshire. I have reached the final descent down to the uh, beginning of the trail here. Um, to see the uh, border patrol stations again. Border crossing. Let's see, is that the US or Canada one? That's the US one. All right. I made it back. Back to the truck. A good hike. Ended up hiking 2.27 miles. We're at 611 calories, so good hike today. Now it's time to go do some drone flying.
colors are really starting to show up here. Hopefully they'll be peeking out about the time I come back in about two weeks. So, should be good. Yes, this is not my last visit to uh, Pittsburgh, New Hampshire this year. Be back here in about two weeks. Doing some more photography. Won't be camping on the next visit though. I'll be staying in a motel. It's already getting too cold to camp. This trip has certainly been, a, been quite the adventure so far. Really enjoying the whole uh, week-long format too. Not quite so thrilled about the uh, potential of below freezing temperatures in the next couple nights though. So that, that doesn't thrill me too much. Like this caution, lake ahead. If they hadn't told me there's a lake there, I would never have known. You coming for the hike too, bird? Apparently he's coming with me. Leading me to the lake there? No, I guess not. <laughs> 